So for this type of problem, there's a couple ways you guys could do this. And what I'm going to show you is how to write this as a period of an eight. Now, if it says just to evaluate for cosine of eight pi over three, what we notice is one thing, when we're taking the unit circle, if we start here, here would be two pi, or pi, here's going to be two pi. Well, if I'm breaking this up into thirds, we can kind of like forget about these and just say one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, or sorry, one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds. This is six thirds. Um, well, so it's two pi or six pi over three. That's the same thing as two, two pi, right? Well, if you notice, this one's over eight pi over three, correct? So what they're, what they're saying is, can we write our cosine as um, eighty with a as an eight of c two pi plus c? And what I'm what I'm trying to make you guys understand is, if we have this two pi is just redundant, right? To go from here to here is you're just going back to the exact same spot, right? So we don't always have to include counting and counting because. You know, what if this was 186 pi um, over 3, right? It's gonna, that's a lot of revolutions before we actually find where is our uh, angle going to end. So what I can do is I want to say, well, can I write this as a, uh, as a period with the 8? So if I know that 2 pi is just going to take me to the exact same point, I can kind of disregard it. So what is 2 pi in terms of um, in thirds? Well, it's going to be 6 pi over 3. So what I can write is cosine equals 6 pi over 3 plus, now what is going to be my remainder left to get over to get to 2 pi over 3? Or, sorry, to get to 8 pi over 3. So you can write as 2 pi over 3. All right? Well, we know, guys, like I said, this, this is just a revolution. So really what we're evaluating for is cosine of 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi is going to be 1 pi. This is 1 third pi. This would be 2 pi over 3. Well, I think it says evaluate for cosine, right? So if we know the point here, which is pi over 3, this is going to be 1 half square root of 3 over 2, right? Now, if I want to find the cosine, remember that's your x value. Well, I want to find the I want to find the x value for this point over here. Well, look what happens. This is just a reflection about my y-axis, correct? So therefore, it's going to be a negative one half. So the cosine. Well, it's not really. Cosine of t at negative um, two pi over, at four two pi over three. Let me see, let me make sure that's right. Right, okay. No. Cosine for my two pi over three is gonna equal a negative one half. Does that make sense? Because this point is negative one half square root of three over two. All right, so all they're saying is when you can use period of eight, when you notice something is greater than 2 pi, what we can do is we can kind of like factor out that 2 pi. That's pretty much all you're doing. You're kind of like factoring out a 2 pi and just taking what's left over and just evaluating that portion. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right.